The five human senses are sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. So what five senses do we need to focus on in our trading? I will go through them in my next two education videos. Most of us are blessed with all five senses. We have eyes to see, we have our ears to hear, we have our nose to smell, we have our tongues to taste, and we have senses over our, our entire bodies really to touch. For those who have senses taken away from them, like the blind who cannot see, often one of these senses becomes even more acutely sensitive to the world around them, either naturally, like through hearing or smell, or maybe through tools like a you know, walking stick or cane that can be used to feel the surroundings and see them, see the surroundings, despite the handicap. In trading, I like to think we need to use senses to help make trading decisions as well. Sight is the most obvious sense we need to hone in on and develop to be a successful trader. I will talk more about that in my next video. The other senses outside sight may not be as important, but they still have a, a role perhaps in some of our trading and I'll go through them now. For instance, I can't touch a trade, but I can feel a good trade when I have one, or I can feel the momentum. I can have a good feel for the market fundamentals. I can feel a bad trade or a bad trade location. A lot of times as you get better, your sense of feeling becomes better and better in your trading. Feeling allows you to get out of losing trades quicker. Feeling allows you to stay in a trade longer. Have you ever said, I don't have a good feel for the market now? That triggers the action to stay out of the market, stay out of trading. Touch and trading is not taking your finger and know that it is hot or cold, but it is a feeling. Do you have a feeling in your trading? It takes time, but think about it and think about what you can do to get a better feeling. Now, I can't hear a trade either, but I do hear the market all the time. In fact, I will often say in a video, by trading sideways, the market is saying, I don't know which way the price action is going. The market should talk to you. It should tell you the bias is bullish or the bias is bearish. It should tell you that here is risk. Admittedly, the hearing comes from seeing often, but trading is a lonely business. And hearing the voices of what the market is saying makes it more inclusive and draws you into the charts and into the news. It is voices of the market in our head most times, but those voices lead to action and hopefully good trade decisions. One of the things I don't encourage traders to do is to uh, create an elaborate uh, proprietary algorithm. Let's say a company's a whole series or plethora of if statements or, or other trading um, decision trees that are yours and yours alone. Why is that? Well, you aren't hearing others. You just hear yourself. Yes, I hit sit here by myself, but I hear the market, whether it is non-trending in an up and down pattern or it's trending and heading to the upside or downside. I hear the voices of the market. Now, literally hearing may come from a squawk service like New Squawk, for instance. I love that service. It may come from watching CNBC or Bloomberg TV. It may come from hearing this video or other trade related videos that I must do and trusting my voice and learning from my voice. It might be from listening to Adam when he appears on uh, BNN network or, um, or he talks about um, you know, the markets in an interview. How do you hear the market literally and figuratively? It sounds weird, but if you can say and understand the market is saying the bias is bullish or bearish, or the market is saying by stalling against this uh, swing area, the sellers remain in control. You aren't trading alone. You are trading with the crowd, and I think that's a good thing. Now, tasting and smell, well, I don't want to make too much of a stretch with my sense, uh, senses metaphor, but more experiences allows us to smell a bad trade when we get in one. 
especially when risk is defined and limited ahead of time. I know a stinker when the price does not do what I expect it to do. And tasting, well, I will leave that sense for someone else to define. In my next video, I'll talk more about the sense of sight and its importance in trading. What do I see and why? What do you see and why? Let's explore it in the next video. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading.